right here, the brother's gonna bring out Joel 3. three. Joel 3 and 3. And they have cast lots for my people. Okay, go up to 2. Verse 2. I will also gather all nations and will break them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. So, God is gonna bring all nations and gather them and bring it to the valley of Jehoshaphat, which is in the Middle East, right? Read. And will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage, Israel. So he's gonna plead with those people then, there, for us, for Israel. Read. Whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. And they have... Who, what's the Lord's land right now? The Lord's land, where is it? And it's he say they parted his land. Who's over there right now? No, no, they're not. We're the Jews. They're Jewish. Well, besides those Jewish people, what other people are on that land? The Arabs, right? Yeah, yeah. The so-called white men and the Arabs are on that land. They parted the land. See, yes, that was prophesied thousands of years ago. Read. Whom they have scattered among the nations. No, and here, start up a little more. Break, break, break. And will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage, Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations. So we were scattered among the nations, the transatlantic slave trade, right? We were scattered all across the globe. Read. And parted my land. And parted, they parted the Most High's land. Now they have so-called so Jewish people there, I mean, the so-called Jews there, and the Arabs, they parted the land, they divided it. Read. And they have cast lots for my people. And they sold, they auctioned off. Well, who that happened to? Who would auction off? Exactly. Back down in, in Wall Street. Who were the first commodities down in Wall Street? The slave. Read. And have given a boy for a harlot. And so the girl for wine. Didn't they do that to us? Yeah. Didn't they they have our men breed? The other one. The other one. They auctioned us off. See that? They had the men breed with our sisters. Yeah. Like if they Let's go put the picture in the middle. Yeah. See that? Yeah, See that they showed us off, like if we're some kind of property, like we're a piece of meat. Keep reading. Yeah. And have given a boy for a harlot, and sold a girl for wine. And they sold our sisters for wine, so they could party and break them and do whatever they want with them. Didn't that happen to us? Yeah. Keep reading. That they might drink. Yay! Meaning they might party, have their orgies, and do whatever they want with them. Read. Yay! And what have ye to do with me? Oh, Tyree and Zidon? Tyree and Zidon are ancient African cities. She's so talking about the Africans here. You're not African, brother. Don't get confused. Read. And all the coast of Palestine. And all the, who are the Palestinians? What kind of people are they? The Jewish Arab. people. Arab. The Arabs, exactly. So the, he's talking about the Africans and the Arabs, right? Yeah. Read. Will ye render me a recompense? And if ye recompense me swiftly, and speedily will I return your recompense upon your own head. We'll read that again. So he's talking to the Arabs and the Africans, right? Verse Joel 3 and 4. Yay! And what have you to do with me, O Tyree and Zidon? What do you have to do with me, you Africans, right? And Greek. And all the coast of Palestine. And you Arabs. What do you have to do with me? God is asking them. What do you have to do with me, you Africans and you Arabs? Read. Will you render me a recompense? Will you pay me back? Read. And if he recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return your recompense upon your own head? If you pay me back, God is saying, I'm going to bring it back right on top of your own head. That's what he's saying. Read. Why? But why is he saying you're going to pay me back? Why? Let's see what they did that was paying God back according to them. Read. Because you have taken my silver and my gold. And have carried it to your temples, my goodly pleasant things. Because when they destroyed us, they robbed us. They took everything from us. But not only that, keep reading, remember, they, the, the boys, the girls were sold for wine. The men were auctioned off, right? They did all that to us, keep reading. The children of, the children also of Judah. The children of Judah. 
and the children of Jerusalem, and the children of Jerusalem, have ye sold unto the Grecians? Who are the Grecians? Who are the Grecians? What kind of people? The Arabs and the Africans. So, you to who? Who are the Greeks? What kind of people? What race? What race? What race of people, brother? White. White. Didn't that happen to you? Didn't the Africans and the Arabs in the, during the transatlantic slave trade? Us, us, sell you to the so-called white man? Yeah. And before that, the sub-Saharan slave trade, where the Arabs and the Africans had you as slaves over there before you were sold. Right? Now give me the Genesis 49. Didn't that happen to us? Right? So that's a prophecy that was written thousands of years ago that came to pass in 1619. And our people don't want to believe in this Bible. We're, we are the people in the Bible. Everybody else knows who they were. They want to they uh, uh, correlate those, uh, those Jewish people with the, the curses because they went through the so-called Holocaust. But just alone in transatlantic slave trade, over a hundred million slaves were killed just in the voyage. Let alone what, what the people that were killed in that land before they were brought over and the ones that were killed here. Exactly. Over a hundred million and they want to get pissed off because so and so if we give them six million during their holocaust that's nothing and that's just one tribe what happened up about the native the so-called native american over 77 million gone exactly until this day you see us getting shot and killed in the streets every day and nothing's done about it genesis 49 and 8 Go, go actually uh, when he's talking in the beginning. The, 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 yeah. Genesis 49 and 1. And Jacob called it to his sons and said, Gather yourselves together that I may tell you that which shall befall, befall you in the last days. So Jacob's getting old, right? And he gathered his 12 sons and it's going to tell them this is when it, what's going to happen to you in the last days. In the last days. He's talking about his descendants, because they're not, they're, not, they're not gonna live that long. He's talking about his descendants. This is what's gonna happen to your descendants in the last days, right now. He's gonna tell us where we're gonna be, the condition we're gonna be, right? Each tribe, read. Verse eight. Yeah. Verse eight. Judah, the Judah, heart. Judah, right here, the American blacks. You, read. Judah, thou art he whom thy brethren shall praise. Thy right, right now. Everyone hates the so-called black man. Yeah. They're the lowest of the low. Even yeah. the so-called Hispanics look at the so-called black man like, boy, like nothing. But guess what? You, your tribe is the ones all the other tribes are going to praise. Read. Thou art he whom thy brethren shall praise. Thy hand shall be in the neck of thine enemies. Thy hand should be in the neck of thy enemies. What? It's, a, it's giving you a specific location. When you're in the neck of somebody, what? You're in the upper part, the north, right? Where, where, we, where was the American black sacred? The slaves. North America, right? That's where you're going to be situated in the last days. Read. And why is he saying the neck of thy enemies? Because you're going to be right up against the enemy. Who's our enemies? Who put yokes of iron? Remember, during the civil rights the Black Panthers and all that. We were tough. We were going at them, right? Exactly. We're going to be at the necks of our enemies, giving them hell. Right? Now read. Thy, talk about that. Read, read. Thy father's children shall bow down before thee. Talking about the other brothers, the so called Hispanics and, you know, the so called Haitians and the West Indians. Read. Judah is a lion's wealth. Judah is a lion's wealth. A lion is a very courageous. Ferocious animal. He compares Judah, the tribe of Judah, to a lion. He's a lion's well, breed. From the prey, my son, thou art gone up. He stooped down, he couched as a lion. So he couched, when the lion couches, he's ready to pounce, he's ready to attack. That's what was happening during the civil rights movement. We were on the neck of the enemy, right? Read. But let's see what happened. Read. And as an old lion, who shall rouse him up? But now, 
that movement just died yeah, yeah. away. You see our men with tight pants, with their pants below their, their, their butts. We're not what we used to be at all. Exactly. Disrespecting, killing each other, selling drugs to each other, treating our women like hoes. Come on. What has become of us? We are royalty on this earth. Verse 10. The scepter shall not part, depart from Judah. The scepter is a, is a staff of, of, to lead. It's, a, it's a, you know, something we used to lead, right? Because why is all about Christ here? Christ came out of the tribe of Judah. And he's the king of kings, the Lord of lords. Why? Because we're kings. And the king of kings, because he's our king. We are royalty. And we have to recognize that and come back to these laws. So we can get our power. Why during slavery? They didn't allow us to read or write. Why was that? Why did they not allow us to read or write? Why did they change our names? We have Italian names, English names, British, like why? Why? They changed our names because with our name, we could go back to our forefathers to find out who we are. They changed our language. They destroyed us completely. My Italian son. Exactly. I'm Elton Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.